Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Boys, they hustle. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Roll to 1K, okay? Like, tell your friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like I'm looking right now. But anyway, so I actually been trying to fix my laptop. I think I inserted a clip showing y'all when I was on the phone with Apple support because my laptop is tripping and we got some business stuff to do so we can, you know, this year, I'm already thanking God for the blessings I can smell. You feel me? But my appointment's at five and it's 429 right now. Um, I thawed out my food earlier. So I'm literally about to sit here prep my meat and like everything for my post-workout meal so for like lunch for when i get back from my appointment i think i'm gonna put my chicken in the fridge because i actually am going to a galentine's that starts at six o'clock so i'm really rushing here I'm trying to see if i could record a couple clips of me cooking but uh yeah we are gonna see because i'm actually rushing but i take out some broccolini. So we're gonna do broccolini, shrimp, and sweet potatoes. So I'm about to prep this right now. I'm gonna show you how to prep, and then we are running to get my laptop figured out because I, yeah, I'm, I'm still.
Don't do me wrong See when I'm home, I'm all alone And you are always gone Boy, you know I really love you I can't deny I can't see how you could bring me To so many tears after all these years See my days are cold without you All right, y'all, the food is prepped. Washing my hands now. I'm gonna put all of this in the fridge and then we are gonna cook it when I get back. I really might just show y'all the end result because again, I am rushing. But at least I showed y'all the prep. So if you want like a full get, not get ready with me, but like a full cook with me meal prep video, let me know. But now let's go get this laptop repaired. And I know my flowers is dead, y'all. I'm about to get me some more flowers right now. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm back, but I'm literally... Um... <sighs> okay, let's backtrack. I dropped off my laptop to get repaired. Um, and I should be able to pick it up tomorrow because it's. I need to get some work done. But because I can't do the work on... Um, Definitely going out today. So I was supposed to run back to get ready for Galentine's to go at six o'clock, right? It is currently 7.20. Um, and I text the girl because it's like a, a sip and paint Galentine's. And I'm like, oh man, like it's supposed to be over at eight. So it's only two hours. And she was like, yeah, like it's definitely like, it's gonna be over on time basically. So I decided that I'm still gonna get ready and I'm gonna take myself on a solo date. I don't know where exactly I wanna go because it is Saturday. I mean, I love Japanese cuisine and there's this spot that has a speakeasy that I actually kinda wanna eat at, but probably won't actually go there. I'm trying to figure it out for real, for real. Um. But yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all about romanticizing your life. And if I look crazy, bear with me because I promise it's going to get better. But yeah, I definitely wanted to talk to y'all about romanticizing your life because it's just important. Like, especially me being in my single era. Oh, let me see. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. But yeah, so me being like in my single era, I definitely be getting lonely. Um, especially moving to a new city, then literally having a very close person to me pass away over the holidays. It's just been like lonely. Um, and it's like, but not lonely enough, y'all, because I've been staying on business. So I have like talked to a few people. Since I've moved out here, I don't even want to say a few because that sounds kind of crazy. But I've talked to people. Um, I mean, it only be lasting for like one to two weeks because I'm really at a place where one red flag and I'm out the door. I actually don't even want to wait for two or three. And yes, no one's perfect, but people tend to put their best foot forward in the beginning. So if early on, especially within one or two weeks, I'm already seeing something or a couple of things that I don't like, then I'm kind of just moving forward. And I'm very vocal. So if I vocalize what my expectations are and then you let me know that I'm asking for too much, basically, then we both just already know <laughs> what that is. So dumb situations be getting cut. Like I just been on my own vibes and just trying to romanticize my life so i'm like i love going out to eat for example and i went to this restaurant in baltimore a while ago called black swan and they have gold utensils and i'm a gold jewelry type of girl like i don't do silver so i'm like oh my goodness so what did i do i got gold utensils and i got like black like plate bowls 
to give off that vibe. I just really liked how I felt when I was in that restaurant. And those minor details for me made the restaurant like have a better experience, in my opinion. And I want that experience at home. To me, that's a part of romanticizing my life. So, did that. Um, that's an example. I also like to buy myself flowers. Between every, like, like every two weeks. Every two weeks, I like to get myself flowers. I got myself some red roses today in light of Valentine's Day coming up. But I never get red roses. Like, I always get, like, white roses, actually. White roses are my absolute favorite um but that's another example just doing little stuff like if i go to a fancy hotel they have soap dispensers and they have like the pre-made bath wash dispensers in the in the shower so i got me some soap dispensers for my bathroom with the lotion dispenser i got the candles to light those up for a vibe. I just try to give myself luxurious experiences within every part of my everyday routine, to be quite honest. Like, I think for me, that's what it comes down to. I eat pretty healthy throughout the week, but I also feel like when you go out to eat at a nice restaurant, it usually is like more on the healthy side. Like you might get a steak with broccoli or mashed potatoes or like a grilled salmon with asparagus and sweet potatoes and those are the type of things i cook anyway so i just try to make sure i even just make and plate my food as if i'm out at a nice restaurant i love setting the mood i like putting lights i'm sorry y'all my brows are like actually pissing me off and it, it never is actually hard for me to do my brows. So I don't know if it got her to with me recording right now. But yeah, so I feel like that's been very important for me. Before moving to Dallas, I was living at home. And there was just a lot of things about my everyday routine that prohibited me from just not being able to do certain things at home to truly romanticize my life to the fullest how I wanted to. So I'm really grateful for moving and like actually having that opportunity to romanticize my life. But going back to standing on business, I feel like that's very important. I actually posted a video y'all and I never actually got into the tea, but if you've made it this far, then y'all gonna get the tea. So basically me and my ex is so funny cause honestly we've known each other for a couple years but we only dated for like three months honestly. But he was Jamaican and we went to Jamaica for my birthday, which was his idea. And then keep in mind, when I first dated him, like he took me to Mexico. It was just all these vibes. Like I feel like a lot of men tend to like do a lot for me in the beginning because they see how much I be doing for myself. And then it's a 360. So now he's basically telling me like, um, he can't really keep up with my lifestyle. And he kind of bit more than he could chew with my birthday trip because now he doesn't feel like he can actually like pay for it. Mind you, like certain things were already secure. I had secured, um, I think the hotel and he was gonna just pay me the rest when he could. I was like, you know what? I travel alone for my birthday regardless. But I'm like, oh damn, like, you know, I am in a relationship. So I'm like, okay, boo. Like, it's fine. Like, I understand. I also was irritated because it just made everything cost more for me to supplement for him telling me he's no longer paying because normally when I book my trips, like, it would have been ahead of time. Like, I don't want none of this last minute nonsense but anyway fast forward we get to jamaica so we spent like um two days in his local area because again like he's from jamaica so we stayed with some of his family so everything is cool or whatever tell me why literally um day two like day two we're about to chill and watch netflix y'all He's like, oh, I'm about to go upstairs. Like, he, like, put his laptop on the bed so we could, like, watch it on the bed. Um, and I think he was going upstairs to get us, like, some drinks or some snacks or something. And this girl texts him. 
and it goes on the laptop. And it was like something sexual. So of course, you know, boom, I'm looking at that jump and yeah, he over here texting this girl like, oh, like when are, basically when am I gonna fuck you, all that shit. So he came back to the room. I left the thread open and I was like, tell your cousin to take me to my hotel. The hotel was for the next night. So now not only did I have to pay for this trip cause men's ended up really not having it like he acted like he did. But now I'm paying for an extra room because I need to respect myself. I'm like, I'm not staying with you here for the sake of staying with you here. Like, it's not, I'd rather be comfortable, n let you know that I'm really serious about being done with you. I don't care if this man didn't sleep with nobody. Just texting somebody with that intention alone is enough for me. And at that point, I was already moving to Texas like a week or two after the trip. So I'm just like, his cousin takes me to a hotel the same one that I was supposed to be checking into the next day. So I get there, check in. Y'all know this man started blaming me for why he was doing that. Like, oh, if you, something. Like, I don't even remember what he was saying because I really don't even care no more. But boom, stood on business with that because I'm telling y'all, it was an eight day trip. And I left that man on the second day. And I definitely was like heartbroken because it's like, damn. And I know I said it was only like two, three months, but like I've known him for a while. So I don't know. It just kind of hurt because we were making plans for him to also come move down to Dallas and everything. So I'm just, you know, sad on the trip, but I did. I met some staff at my hotel who definitely made stuff enjoyable. Like they decorated my room for me and just, they overall like helped. <laughs> turn that situation like into a brighter one honestly for me because i was going through it like they came up to me one day like oh like are you okay like you just look like you know you're sad or whatever so then they made it a point to you know try to be there for me so yeah i would definitely appreciate that but I'm happy I still on business because, like, honestly, that man really ain't really have much to offer me. And I feel like I am deal with the wrong type of men, like, all the time, honestly. But I feel like God moved me to Dallas for a reason. Like, God wanted me to slow down. Like, I was going outside when I was living in the DMV, like, every single day. Like, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For everybody. But no, like every day, I was going outside, y'all. So I think God really wanted me to move here, slow down, work on my business. Like I keep saying by 30, I'm going to be a millionaire. And I promise y'all, by 30 years old, I will be a millionaire. This is my accountability post right here, y'all. It's on camera. I said it. It's going to happen. But no, like, for real. So, God wanted me to slow down. I feel like God wants me to, like, not have distractions. My homeboy just called me the other day, and he was like, honestly, if the devil can't destroy you, he'll try to distract you. God sends people, but the devil also sends people. And I was like, oh, my God. That is a fact. So he was like, focus, focus, focus on your business. Cause he was like, even though like, you know, you never let yourself go when these situations with these men end, it still is affecting you in ways that you just might not see. And I was like, you know what? That's very, very, very true. Yeah, I decided literally yesterday, <laughs> like quite literally yesterday. Cause I literally just cut somebody off actually. Yesterday, y'all cut somebody off and I'm just like, you know what? I'm tired of cutting people off. Like I don't move here. I've been here like what, three months? Then cut off like four people. That probably sounds crazy, but it's like, I've only talked to each person for like one to two weeks, like nothing crazy. But it's just like, I literally don't have any type of tolerance, but it's annoying because it's like, I'm a hopeless romantic. I do get lonely sometimes, but I have to remember that like God is there with me. Like I'm not alone. I'm not lonely. You know what I mean? So, there's that, but no, like, so let's get into yesterday. 
and why I had to cut this man off. So this man literally tells me that he's going to fly me out to Atlanta. He just left Dallas, so he doesn't live here no more. He's telling me that he is going to fly me out. Like, it's the weekend before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday. I got work and whatever. He got work. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to fly you out. Like, he works on, like, a set for, like, TV. So I was supposed to fly out on a Friday, which was yesterday. So, like, Wednesday comes around, and I'm like, okay, it's two days before. Like, do I need to pack? Like, you're not really saying anything for real. And he's like, yeah, um, honestly, I just don't know if I'll be able to spend time with you because boop, 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 and bullshit, 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 right? So, one, I'm annoyed because I really hate, one of my biggest pet peeves is when you have to ask somebody about something for them to tell you something that they really should have took it upon themselves to been tell you. Like, you shouldn't be telling me this two days before. You feel me? So that annoyed me. And then, um, I don't know. I really just vocalized to him, like, how I was just feeling about certain shit. I'm just like, okay, you left. Now your communication is kind of, like, trash. You know this man? And mind you, I only sent him a one-minute audio. I actually kind of want to play it for y'all. But I'm not going to do all that. But it literally was one minute. I played it for my homegirl, my homeboy. And it was like, I did good. Because the reason my name is KC Spice is because I can get a little spicy, okay? I'm a little sharp at the tongue, but I'm trying this year to really work on that. So I sent a nice, cute, one-minute audio because I don't have time for a man to think he even got me actually bothered like that for real. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm just noticing this. Don't appreciate it. He doesn't say shit, y'all. But he posted on Instagram. He watching my motherfucking story. I'm like, okay. I don't say nothing. Couple hours later, this man texts me talking about, do you still love me? And it's like, did I ever? Is the real fucking question. We literally was only talking for two weeks. So that was weird. Um, of course, I didn't respond. Fast forward, he gonna text me again talking about some note. And it's like, yeah, nigga, note that. Because what? So the fact that now you didn't even address what I said in the audio is actually like your clip is done for. And a couple hours later, my homeboy who I don't talk to often called me and like that's when he was telling me, you know, the devil will bring people to distract you. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I really just need to lock in, fully focus on myself. I don't even know if it's worth just going on dates casually because that's still a waste of my time. Unless I'm going on dates because y'all about to do something to help me with my business. I just don't see it for me. And I'll be damned if God brought me here for a purpose. And I'm sitting here being distracted and not working towards the purpose that I'm supposed to be out here for. Like, that would be kind of crazy. So, I mean, yeah. I need to put a lippy on. But apart from that... This is the face. Y'all, I'm so sick because I've been filming this shit on a different light setting. And this would have been the perfect light setting. Like, I'm so annoyed right now. <sighs> but, um, yeah. I'm gonna curl my hair, but this hair literally just doesn't stay in a curl, like to save its life. It don't matter if I put hairspray on this jaw, it's just not, it's not my friend for real. So I feel like I'm gonna just keep it like this, but take um, a, like a brush with me for real. Um, all right, put some jewelry on. My hands look so crazy, but it's okay, we're gonna fix that. I don't even know what I'm wearing tonight. Most of my time in Texas, I have not even put on a dress, which is kind of crazy. And I'm a dress heel girly. But ever since my fucking heels broke, like, I've kind of just not been wearing any. Not, I've not been wearing any, but anyway, my, my Tom Ford's broke in Miami. And... I was so annoyed because I told myself, you know what? I want to start getting more like 
durable items that'll last me a while because I literally always break my heels. Like they always break like when I get cheap heels, right? So I'm like, okay, let me invest in these. Like I'm a heel girl. And instead of constantly buying a whole bunch of heels that are gonna break, let me just get some that'll be like sustainable. So that's what I had thought I did. That indeed is not what happened because they <laughs> were not sustainable at all. But um, it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, like I was trying to get it repaired from Tom Ford and they were like, oh, you need your receipt. I'm checking the email, I can't find it. But luckily they can find your receipt through, through um, your phone number. So happy about that, very happy. But I have to wait until Monday so I can go into the store and like start that repair process. But yeah, it's 7.42 y'all. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. Like, I need to take myself somewhere. But where am I taking myself is the real question. Oh my God, y'all. We're at 890 subscribers. Roll to 1K, okay? Like, tell your friend, tell your friend, tell your friend to subscribe. Let me get up. Ooh, goodness. Okay, so I need to put a lip on. I guess I'm gonna just pregame in here while I find an outfit. I'm like contemplating if I should, um, what's it called? I'm like, should I make another hookah? Is that doing too much at this point? Possibly. But then I feel like if I like waste more time in here, my bad y'all, I'm like trying to turn everything off but i'm like i don't want to waste too much time and something be packed because it's like almost eight i mean i don't think anything will really be packed at eight o'clock on a saturday but you never know you never know so we shall see but i'm gonna actually pack away my food that i made earlier y'all had grub down actually i'm gonna show y'all so did some sweet potatoes broccolini shrimp busted that down so i'm about to just package away the leftovers i finished getting ready i still gotta put my lippy on and like figure out what i'm wearing once i figure out what i'm wearing i'll get back to y'all all right y'all i'm in my car so i decided to take myself to this spot called spatch kicking and cock Ooh, spatch kitchen and cocktails so we're about to go in there. It looks really packed, to be quite honest with y'all. And my battery is about to die. And I really want to take y'all with me. I'm going to this like lounge club later called Townhouse. And I want to take y'all there too. But we'll see. Hopefully I can just like give y'all a couple clips in here. But we just got here. So catch y'all inside.
Thank you.